country will be proceeding to deploy. Uh, what do you make of this Haiti deployment? First of all, there is a court order in place mm. that is prohibiting Kenya from deploying the police officers in Haiti. Reason, we don't have a reciprocating arrangement. That is the law. Mm. Number two, look who we want to deploy. We want to deploy police officers to go into a country that the gangs assassinated their own president. We want to deploy our police officers, a thousand of them, to go into a country that today the acting prime minister cannot step foot in the source of Haiti. He is, has been declared a persona non grata. He is not wanted by his own people. People, okay. And we are taking our police officers to be butchered. Let me tell you, the situation in Haiti is deteriorating day by day. Mm. Listen to their gang leader, the barbecue. You are taking our police officers to be barbecue sauce in Haiti. I want to ask President William Ruto. Mm. I know you would really want to put Kenya on the map. You really want to showcase how our trained police officers, for sure they are trained, they are knowledgeable trained, mm. but where you are taking them is a death drop mm. because the gang in Haiti are very dangerous. They have killed their own, they have taken over everything, every day it is chaos. I don't think our police officers would want to come back in, in caskets. I don't think so. Mm. Today, we are also being told there are some police officers who have opted out because they are seeing what is happening. But the United States of America have a reason why they opted out. Why would you experiment with a developing country like Kenya while we have got other superpowers that can venture into that war? It is not our war. It is not. The war in Haiti is not our war. What is our interest? What do we want to experiment? I would want to advise mm. that if, forget about even the court order, if they don't want to follow the court order, but please, let's not experiment with the police officers. As much as they are knowledgeable, trained, and equipped, that gang in Haiti, from what we see, from what we see on other new international channels, we read on other international press, that gang is a bad gang. Mm. It will kill our police officers, and we don't want our police officers to come back home in caskets. Mm. Well, it, you know, the U.S. military on Sunday said that it, it had flown in forces to beef up security at the U.S. Embassy in Haiti and allow non-essential personnel to leave. When we see superpowers like the U.S. are withdrawing, yet Kenya wants to deploy, um, why does the government seem very keen? Because you also heard what the CS had to say today. Um, one, um, let me say that um, Kenya is a community among many nations. Yes. And Kenya will be the lead force in um, Haiti. Mm. Uh, remember, when our army went to Somalia, we captured Kismayu without firing a single shot. Uh, the U.S. also had left Somalia when part of its uh, military was badly dismembered by the militia in Somalia. Um, though we've suffered some small casualties in Somalia, but it was because of the lapses which were there. Mm -hmm. Kenya will be the lead force. There will be other nations joining Kenya. You know, this is a Raktak militia, not organized in any way. I think our security is better trained to handle these things. Okay. Uh, sometimes I, you know, sometimes it's sensational. The military, the U.S. has flown its military to safeguard its interest in the embassy so that uh, the, for the safety of its own employees. Mm. But as soon as our forces land there, there will be other uh, forces from other countries. Okay. Because IT also deserve to be assisted to have a governing. The guy running around with uh, uh, an AK-47, mm -hmm. uh, when our uh, men in uniform land there, I think that guy will have nowhere to hide himself. Mm. I mean, it's not a f an, an organized army that you can say we are battling. These are just a ragtag militia. Mm. That, mm -hmm. I mean, there is no strategy for them. Mm -hmm. All they do is 
block uh, i mean burning of uh, tires on the road blocking uh, uh, the highways mm. that one will be dealt with by our own security people mm -hmm. Fred, why are you laughing i'm laughing because you see mm -hmm. uh, boy it was a ragtag militia who killed their own president mm -hmm. who has barred their acting prime minister by the way, as it is today, Haiti, they have no government. There is no government. In fact, people are asking ourselves, who is that person who came to sign those documents? Who is he? He's acting prime minister. They have not gone into a democratic election. You know? So, when you call them rag, some ragtag militia, and they are killing their own senior most officials who are protected, what can they do to our police officers? In any case, mm -hmm.